Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Okay, it is. It's on. It's on! Awesome! So, hello there guys. This is Tony from his channel 22 Tiger Dude. I am here filming this because, you know, ever since 2013 with Gravity and 2014 with Interstellar, there's people comparing these movies just because they're space movies. The thing is that these movies, even though they all deal with space, their storylines are different. So because of that, during this review of The Martian, I am not going to compare it to Gravity and I'm not going to compare it to Interstellar. I'm just going to review this movie as its own movie because I do feel it's unfair when I compare it to those movies just because they all deal with space. So, now that that's been said, it's time to review the shit out of this. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Martian. So The Martian is directed by Ridley Scott. It stars Matt Damon, Jessica Chastain, Michael Pena, Kate Mara, Jeff Daniels, Kristen Wiig, Donald Glover, She Whittle as your four, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing some more because there's a big freaking cast in this movie. So The Martian is about Mark Watney and his team going up in Mars and doing their mission up in Mars for NASA, but something goes wrong and Mark Watney ends up being left behind on Mars because they think he's dead. However, he's actually not dead, so he finds himself stuck up in Mars. He's trying to figure out a way to get back in contact with NASA. Until then, he has to survive up in Mars. He has to figure out a way to grow food since that's not where you grow your food. The food does not grow there. So he just has to figure out how to survive up in Mars until he's able to hopefully reach NASA and until NASA is able to rescue Mark Watney. So going into The Martian, I was actually really excited for this movie. I thought the trailers were so beautiful, the idea is intriguing, it's based off of a book, and then you have a great talent like Ridley Scott, and you have a great freaking cast. I mean, it is jam-packed, so don't be surprised if I forget a name, because the cast in this is just... Pff, wow. What did I think of this movie? I freaking loved it. I love The Martian. The Martian's incredible. This really is an incredible movie, and it's just so well done from Ridley Scott. Now, yes, Ridley Scott can have his hit and misses like Exodus, Gods and Kings. I never got to review that for my channel, but I thought it was just, you know, not a bad movie, but a mediocre movie at best. Never saw The Counselor, but I do like Prometheus, Gladiator is awesome, and of course he has Alien and then Blade Runner. So you know the guy, whether he has a hit and miss, you could tell he's just committed to his movies. And with The Martian, thankfully this is actually one of his best. The visuals to this movie just look really impressive. You can buy that Matt Damon as the character of Mark Watney is stuck up in Mars. And if they actually said they shot up in Mars, I would have bought an end to it because it looks like he's up there. It looks like Mars and it's so beautiful. The look of it, the atmosphere that was built around Mars, it's just so amazing. All of the scenes dealing up in Mars with Matt Damon's character Mark Watney, it's really interesting. And I love the character of Mark Watney because he could have been someone that's just down and sad. However, his character is just energetic. He was not going to give up. Even when shit gets tough, he was going to survive. It's a very incredible survival story. And it was just so inventive and so creative. And the overall concept for the movie is just so original. I get it's based off of a book, but the movie just feels so original and so refreshing to watch. And it's thanks to the incredible writing, the fantastic and beautiful 
direction from Ridley Scott and really great performances from everyone. Matt Damon, honestly, he does give one of the best performances of his career with The Martian. He was just really great. He brings such amount of personality to the character of Mark Watney and you really were rooting for this character. You wanted him to survive up in Mars and you really want NASA to just kind of hurry up because you want to see this character just make it out alive. And then you have other great performances like Jeff Daniels. You can't go wrong with Jeff Daniels. He does such a great job with his role. Chiwetel Ejiofor 4 actually had a very interesting role in this movie too that I actually really liked. And then of course you have Mark Watney's team like you have Jessica Chastain who who's really great. She's Jessica Chastain but she does do a really good job here. Michael Pena, a very underrated actor, really liked him here. Kate Mara does a really great job here. Like I said, I could be missing some names here, but basically everyone that was in Mark Watney's team, they did a really great job in the movie. And then you also do have Kristen Wiig in which, hmm, yeah, Kristen Wiig in a Ridley Scott sci-fi movie. Think about that. But she actually did do a really good job here. And Donald Glover, for the part he had, he did a really nice job. I just love how energetic this movie was. This movie wanted to be emotional when it needed to be. And there were some very powerful moments that go in The Martian. But then you also have your fun moments to just keep the tone light. And for you to not only be invested in the movie, but just to have fun with it. And I really like that about The Martian. Cinematography is just so amazing to look at. It is honestly just one of the best looking movies I've seen this year. It's so well shot. It's just so captivating. The NASA stuff that goes down on Earth was really interesting to me for the most part. I love the NASA stuff just as much as the Mars stuff. And I liked how the movie really balanced that. How you have your balance of Mars with you know, Mark Watney, but then you have your balance with NASA. And like I said, for the most part, I really did love the NASA stuff. And then, of course, without getting into any details, the climax of this movie blew me away. It was really intense. It was riveting. I was at the edge of my seat. I just loved every single moment of the climax to The Martian. Now, the only problems I did have with The Martian is that I felt like the movie didn't have enough focus on Matt Damon's team. You know, Mark Watney's team with Jessica Chastain, Michael Pena, Kate Mara, etc, etc. Yeah, I felt like the movie kind of sidelined them for most of it. Kristen Wiig does do a great job. Her performance is still great. And I credit her for at least trying something different because, you know, she's been doing mainly like comedies or like even some dramedies for that matter. But I didn't see the point in her character. It just felt like her character was just there. And I wish the movie kind of gave her something to really do. I also did like Donald Glover here. However, I did feel like the movie underused him, and I felt like he could have been used just a little better in the movie. And then the last problem I did have with The Martian is that for the first one hour to 45 or 50 minutes, The Martian was so well paced, I was never bored. The pacing was never too rushed or too slow. The pacing was actually perfectly balanced. But around that 1 hour, 45 or 50 minute mark, I did feel the running time. And then just to clarify about the running time, it was before the awesome climax. So before the climax, just for a while, for about like a good 10 to 15 minutes before that scene, that's when the film started to drag a bit, um, mainly when it comes to the NASA stuff, in my opinion. Overall though, guys, The Martian is freaking awesome. I love this movie. It is an incredible movie. It's a great, awesome survival story. The Martian is going to get three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think of The Martian? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.